Okay, so I'm outside and I'm looking at the yard. This is something that I do to come out here and survey the yard to see what the little rascals have been doing back here. And I look for um, dog poop from the neighbors or whatever, and I scoop the poop and uh, look for other stuff. Let's see what all they've been doing. Um, these are some of the areas that were, that have the brown patches in the yard where the lawn care people uh, messed up because they cut the grass on a rainy day and they kind of sort of got stuck back here on the lawnmower, on the, the uh, riding mower. And so I have, um, I noticed that it's starting to grow back. Some of the grass is starting to grow back. And this grass is mixed with some type of uh, cover. Forgot the name of this plant. But uh, it's, it's a mixture of uh, grassy, St. Augustine, I think, and uh, some other type of cover. But I come back here to, to make sure that they're not eating their feces or anything. And I just make sure and I look for stuff like that. And if I see dog poop, I scoop it up. Uh, bird droppings are so small, there's no way you can pick that up. And it, this is the time of the day when they're all gone. All, most of the food is gone. All you see is sunflower seed shell left. See, that's pretty much all you're gonna see left is empty shells. Maybe a few black seeds here and there. But, um, so that's what I do. And, um, if I see anything, I will rake it up or scoop it up so that the area pretty much stays clean and you can see the the um pretty much the um the crows come back here and, and they eat worms and they eat slugs and um they eat snails you know all kinds of stuff like that but um and it's good to hose your yard down if and when you can. Uh, I rent, and so um, I don't own this property. And so the lawn care people pretty much come and they do everything. They don't do the best job, but it's more than what I could do. This looks like a little seedling here. Probably a seed that they missed. Or maybe one of the squirrels planted something, so I don't know if that a sunflower a sprout or maybe something else. Not sure what, what it is, but it's growing there. So it doesn't look too bad. There's a lot of dips and holes in here. This is the little famous little area here. I never got rid of this branch because they use it for a perch. So I just left it there. But um, this is where the hawk likes to ambush them in this area right up in here. It's like a little forest area. They go up in there and they get stuck. And, and he knows that they hide out in there. So that's where he goes in there. And I've been pretty fortunate so far. I haven't seen any snakes out here. <clears throat> Knock on wood. But this area is good for, um, if you're going to scoop poop, you can bury it in the area like this somewhere toward the rear of your yard. Or you can just bag it up and put it in a one of those uh, bags and just throw it out.
but they like to come here because there's a lot of snails in this area. I see some poison ivy. <sighs> Move from over there. This is a good little spot for a bird bath. I'm thinking about using it because all the water drains right up in here when my yard does flood. And um, I'm surprised I still have some lights back here after the lawn care people destroyed most of them. I think I had about 10 or 12 all around the yard and they have been broken up, destroyed. So I'm not gonna buy any more. And they're solar. But um, this is a good spot for a little bird bath. It's shady and water drains here naturally. If I get it in my budget, I will put a, um, I think maybe rocks, natural rocks or something like that. So it'll, it'll keep draining naturally, but still maintain or hold enough water where they can bathe in it and drink water from it. But they like this little area in here. So, I'll be sure. It's nice and cool and shady in here. There used to be a rabbit back here a while back. And uh, I don't see it anymore. I think the coyotes got him. And that's been about a year now. So, I don't see him. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, um, that's the little yard survey for now. Remember, if you're gonna do the nature thing, you gotta show appreciation. You gotta keep it clean, and you gotta survey your yard. Yeah. Like here's some part of the light that they destroyed. Uh, throw this away, cause they will eat this if they get hungry enough. Anyway, shalom.